Welcome to EFTM, and today I want to talk soundbars. They come in all shapes and sizes, so let's explain what it all means so you can have some solid entertainment at home because we're watching a bit more TV than normal. You can't go to the restaurant, you can't go to the movies, you can't go to your mate's place, you can't go to the pub. So the TV is going to be where you're getting a lot of your entertainment over the next few months. Well, like most people, you've probably just got the TV sitting on an entertainment unit all mounted on the wall and you're relying on the sound from the TV. Now TVs have good sound. It's quite amazing to think the sound that's coming out of that thin little TV is actually able to fill your room. But let me just tell you, when you put a soundbar on a good TV or a soundbar on an old TV, it just brings it to life. So I wanted to talk through the different options out there. So these are all JBL models. These are brand new models hitting the stores right now. And you'll see this kind of terminology, 2, 2.1, 5.1, what does it all mean? So let's get them out of the box and I'll show you what's different and what's what. So there we go. Now what do all the decimal points and numbers mean? It's all about the numbers of channels. Now start with the point one. Down the front, that's your point one. A subwoofer adds bass. So if there's a dramatic scene, there's a lot of bass in the, in the movie, the subwoofer rumbles and, and burls and can literally vibrate your floor depending on how high how you have it set. These are subwoofers. A standard bar two, so a two channel sound bar, does not have a subwoofer. It is just two speakers, left and right, firing at you at a much higher quality than your standard TV. If you buy a system that has the point one, you're going to get a subwoofer with it. Now critically, you can buy a subwoofer optionally for many soundbar systems, but I'm just showing you how these, out of the box, what they are and how they operate. Two channels, left and right. 2.1, left and right, and the subwoofer bass. But when you get to the five channels, it's where it starts to get really immersive. That's when sound really starts to impress you in a movie. So this guy here, this out of the box is a 5.1, but there's only this and the big box, the big subwoofer. So this is, this is really where soundbar technology is going. It's quite amazing now. You don't need any wires. The subwoofer and the soundbar in all these cases is wirelessly attached. So they work together without any wires running through the home. But critically, what do the five channels mean? Five channels are left, right, center, and rear left and rear right. So you're surrounded by four speakers with one in the middle. The four are on the corners, the one is in the middle, kind of under the TV. Back 10, 15 years ago, when you built a 5.1 surround sound system, you'd have five speakers. One in the center of under the TV, one at the left of the TV, one at the right of the TV, one at the left back, one at the right back. And you can still get systems like that, but technology today allows a single sound bar like this to do it all. So basically what's happening in here is you've got a center speaker, firing directly at you. You've got a left and a right firing at you so that you can hear the sound as it comes from left and right. But what's happening with the rears is you've got this amazing multi-beam technology that basically pushes the sound behind you. And often it'll bounce off a wall and back to you and it'll give you the sensation that the speaker is actually sitting behind you. It's remarkable technology and it is the way of the world now with most people wanting something simplistic. So this beautiful bar here just sits under the TV and gives you that immersive sound. All right, easy as pie. Two cables, power and HDMI. The power goes obviously into PowerPoint straight into the soundbar. The HDMI goes into the HDMI ARC port of your TV and the same on the soundbar. ARC stands for audio return channel. So the TV is sending audio into the soundbar via HDMI. Now, obviously this is not gonna make great sense on a video, but let's have a bit of trust here and let's have a listen to how it sounds. So this is Formula One Drive to Survive. Love the show, a lot of great sounds in it. This is, as you can see here, using the TV speaker. So this same remote operating the TV speaker. If I turn on the soundbar, automatically this TV detects that and I've now got volume control with my normal remote or the JBL remote. 
if I understood what Walter told me last night. And there's a crispness and clarity to it. That's that's what matters here. It's I can already hear the, the extra bits of sound coming through. It's it's just so much different because think about it this way. Your TV speakers are behind it. They're probably might be underneath it. The sound is actually pushing down here and it's kind of reverberating out. With a sound bar, it's pushing directly at you. It's a genuine sound that you're used to hearing on any other audio device. But because we're kind of used to listening to TVs in this muffled way, you probably haven't noticed that much. So that's the big benefit of a soundbar is the fact that it's actually pushing the sound straight at you. There's a lot of money in Formula One. Can you compete with the so, teams? So now what I've done is that I've set up the 5.1 soundbar with the subwoofer over in the corner. So the subwoofer doesn't need to sit with the TV. In fact, it could be anywhere in the lounge room, but I like it to be up front still. Subwoofer just has power. No other connections. Sticking with the HDMI and power only. Same two power cords, in fact, from the two channel. You can use an optical cable also from your TV to a soundbar, which is just an added level of quality, but you'll still get the surround sound from a HDMI uh, connection. So the difference here is, there's no point sitting over there. Really gotta sit back here on your lounge or where your lounge would normally be, directly in the middle to really experience the 5.1 sound. So the reason I picked Drive to Survive is this is way overproduced. They have over amplified audio on this like nothing else. They pick this and they, they actually send the sound to the back, to the front, to the left, to the right, so that it adds to the viewing experience. It, it really does. Cars up and make sure it's performing. I've gone full volume too. <laughs> Saturday there's qualifying to set the order that the cars will start the race in. And then on Sunday we have the race itself. Every session is day. That, that there is a perfect example. The cars were, they, well they came from behind you in terms of where the camera was. And what they did with the audio was they placed the audio behind me and then rocketed it forward. And you, you get that sensation, you get that feeling. In fact, some of those cars made me jump because of the bass. It really really adds to the viewing experience of everything from docos like this to movies and everyday TV shows. If you love your entertainment, you will love what a soundbar will deliver. In general terms, it's a budget question. How much can you afford? What do you want to spend on upgrading your TV sound? If you're watching a lot of Netflix, if you're watching a lot of movies, you're going to want to push towards the five channels. If you're just wanting to bring better sound to your lounge room and you're watching the news, and you don't watch a lot of other content, you're watching kids' cartoons, a two-channel soundbar at a few hundred dollars, a couple of hundred bucks, will be absolutely amazing what it can do to change the way your TV feels. And a five or six-year-old TV can sound like brand new with an added boost of sound. Your mates, let alone your family, will be blown away by the quality of just a simple soundbar. But if you want to really up your game, you add the subwoofer. That's your 2.1. There's 3.1s in the middle too, so you just get your, your front channels, your center, your left, your right. 5.1, center, left, right, back and um, back left, back right. There's 7.1, my goodness, there's even 9.1. There's a lot of numbers out there. And it's critical to know what you want and find something to fit your budget. What I love about these is the more you spend, the better the features. So for example, with this 5.1, came with mounting brackets so that you can mount it on the wall if you've got a wall mounted TV. That's the kind of thing you're going to want depending on your situation. 5.1 surround sound delivered to your home. You can just shop online, have it delivered to direct to your home and in 15 minutes have it unboxed and in 20 minutes be playing the latest shows with beautiful quality sound. That's why a soundbar matters, that's why a soundbar adds so much to uh, what you're doing in front of your TV. So upgrade your sound. These guys from JBL are exceptional. The quality of JBL sound is very hard to beat. They've got great quality sound, they've got great bass, and critically, they've got a solid range. Every price point, every style of setup, from the basic to the full surround sound. You can check those out online at JBL, and we've got full details at EFTM.com.